Okay, right. We'll um, start our, our two plus one exercise um, with Anneli leading us, and, and Runa will join us in a minute, but um, we'll, we can start this out. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, just going to start a little bit to tell you about um, why we need feedback in this kind of context. Do you see? Uh, we're going to, after we finish this exercise, hopefully, you will know uh, more about how you are contributing to the team, um, how your group members are currently contributing to the team, and how this everything you do, how you behave. Um, how that affects your group and your group work and also your product. You have hopefully read about the Yuhari window too, in the book of reflections today. Mm -hmm. So um, the aim today is to open some of these boxes that you see here, the four different boxes, um, because um, on top here, what I know about myself, that's hopefully a lot, and I know how I am in a group. Um, but is this open to others? Maybe, maybe not. That depends on you, how open you are. Um, but what is, what you know about yourself and what you know, what others know about you is open. It's either you can see it or um you have told your other group members and this is how i am this is how i usually um behave um for me for instance i've always been told that you can see everything on my face if i'm not happy you can see it. if i don't like the id that is uh, that someone is presenting you can see it. that i do not have a poker face at all um <clears throat> But also what I know about myself might be hidden from other group members. It's unknown. So if if this square is quite large for you, it could be uh, difficult for you to, to cooperate in a team. If you're hiding things, if you're not sharing with your group members things about yourself. But there's also things that you don't know about yourself, but others know about you. That's the blind spot, you know? And this I also hope that we can, can uh, change more from the blind spot you know, to the open spot. Because um, uh, the feedback exercise will hopefully give you more insight into things that others can see about yourself that you, you might know of yourself. And of course, it's very hard to square down to the right there things that you don't know about yourself and others don't know as well it might be also affecting your teamwork. So giving and receiving feedback, that might be hard. It's very individual how you feel um, about giving feedback. It might be demanding to give feedback, but also to receive it. As Simon said earlier, it's easy for him to, to receive praise, right? But how is it to receive uh, criticism? How do you react? We're going to train on that now. And, uh, and because we're going to give both positive and negative feedback. And so it should be constructive, of course. But it could be demanding to, to hear that if there's something new, you hear something new about yourself. But I feel that like you are this and that. How does that affect you? That is why this uh, exercise demands some personal courage. For someone, it's easy to give feedback and receive feedback. For others, it might be very hard to take that into consideration as well. Probably we read about this as well. Uh, but there are some tips I'll go through. Uh, through it rather quickly. You can uh, find more information about it in the book of reflections. But uh, when you give feedback, remember that uh, it's constructive, that's supposed to do something good to your team member. 
um, so be as concrete as and specific as you can. And don't start by saying that you are an idiot or you are this and that, but start with, this is how I see it. I feel that you are uh, the way I experience it because then you're, you're saying that I might be wrong, but this is just how I feel. And you are your group member's ally. That means you, you're doing it to make the group work better. You're doing it so this person receiving the feedback will, will get better in his or her work. And you should be, be very concrete, you know, and um, give praise and criticism separately. So if you're praising someone, you're speaking to that, and then you give the negative uh, negative feedback later, right? But as I said, receiving feedback feedback might be hard as well. Try to to think about what you hear before you like um, saying that this is this is not me. You are wrong. Try to think about it. Um, try to process the message, see uh, he might, he or she might be right. Um, but of course, after a while, then uh, there might be some of the feedback that you take with you. And this is, I'm thinking this is something I should work on. This is something I should really get better at. There might be some feedback that you can use as well. So in the two plus one exercise, we'll start with uh, individual work. And you're thinking about each group member in your group. Um, what do you like? What kind of behavior do you like? What kind of behavior do you not like that much? You're supposed to find two positive um, comments or feedback and one negative. It's important that you have one negative as well. Because if you're only doing the positive stuff, then you might not learn that much about yourself. This exercise is so strict that it says in the experts in teamwork book that there's no local variations. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. No, you're not allowed to do different. You must do it like this. <laughs> so we have 12 more minutes for that, and then we go. Uh, uh, in the group, sorry. Uh, I, I think there is some uh, some recommendations as to how do you give the feedback if you go back to uh, slide two. Um, so, uh, on the phone. So, uh, be concrete. Uh, don't worry, you had don't mix the the, the five rule board. Don't mix praise and criticism in the same sentence. There is a recommendation that you think of this as a hamburger. You start with the soft part. Then, uh, which is the be positive, and then you have the hard chunk in the middle, and then we end up in a in a soft tone again. So, so be positive in the beginning, be positive in the end, and then you can kind of wrap up the hard stuff <laughs> into soft uh, parts. Yeah, so we call it, it a shit sandwich. That's what we call it in, in, in New Zealand. We're a bit more brutal than they are in Norway, and not as nice as the Americans might be when they describe things as a hamburger, soft. which. <laughs> <Self -touch. laughs> but it, it does make sense because I mean, the, as uh, they were saying, is the, um, the the purpose is for everybody to do better work, and ending up with a kind of a sour, sour tone is not the best way to go forward. So ending up with a more positive tone makes sense because it sets kind of a stage for going forward. Yeah. Okay. So individual work class. Now you're thinking, I like it. So, finding oh, shit, this is a good thing. Yeah, yeah, but this is a specific exercise. Two in one. You're supposed to actually find nasty things to say. 
Yeah. We've done that before. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. <laughs> um, yeah. I think uh, I might see some idea to get some fresh air in here.